This episode of Todd's Kitchen is brought to you by San Remo, creating recipes for the whole family. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. A few days ago, I made Easter chocolate cups, and they were very simple and easy, weren't they? But this recipe is just as simple and just as easy. So join me today as I make my version of Easter nests. Okay, so we're going to start this off with some milk chocolate. Now, you can use white chocolate or dark chocolate as well if you choose. So what I'm going to do is put these in the microwave. I'm going to put it in for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, I'm going to give it a good stir and then put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. And we're just going to repeat this just until the chocolate is completely melted. Okay, so I'll take the chocolate out and it's lovely and melted. So now what we're going to do is to this, we're going to add in some dried shredded coconuts. Now, if you can't have coconuts, you can replace it with those hard dry noodles and they'll work just as well. So with our coconut, we're just gonna give it a very good mix through, just until it's completely combined. Okay, next I've got a muffin tray holder filled with some muffin cups. So what we're gonna do is grab some of our mixture, in clean hands of course, and we're just gonna place it in each cup. Now just as a little tip, I've just dipped my hands in a bit of water just to make them slightly wet. That just prevents this from sticking. So what we're just gonna do is we're just going to shape them just around the muffin tray, just like so. So as you can see, it's raised on the outside, pushed down the middle. So we're just going to continue on until they're all done. Okay, so once you've made your nests, what we're going to do is place this in the fridge for a good half an hour to give that chocolate a chance to harden up. Okay, so I've just taken them out of the fridge. So all we have to do it now is just remove them from the cupcake holders. And we have our bird's nests. Okay, so the only thing left now is to fill it with your favorite Easter treats. And there we have it, a very simple and easy Easter bird's nest recipe. Now this is definitely one of the easiest Easter recipes you're going to make. And let's be honest, they look fantastic, don't they? So this is going to be fantastic on Easter day for the kids or adults alike. But when you hand them one of these babies, I guarantee they're going to think it tastes simply delish. And chances are, they're going to be coming back for seconds too. But that's not a problem because they're so simple and easy to make. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients are down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus pages. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.